my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another You Made What. Today, I'll be making a sushi burrito. So today's video is sponsored by Candid, which is an app that allows you to go to a group forum and exchange ideas and discuss things completely anonymously, which I know that there are other apps that do so, but I like Candid because there's a special algorithm that helps to kind of weed out trolls. I shouldn't say that it weeds the trolls out, it just manages the trolls and creates a place that's a little bit safer for us to have conversations. So I was on Canon and I was going through some of these food groups and looking at all the images that were shared and I found a ton of images that I thought would be interesting to make, including this sushi burrito. All right, let's go ahead and get started making this burrito. Be sure to tune in to the end of the video where I'll talk about a little bit of a giveaway. I forgot to mention what a sushi burrito is. <laughs> Basically, it is what it sounds like. It's a collision between a maki sushi, which is a hand roll sushi, and a burrito. So we're going to start with this, a little sushi mat. If you don't have one of these, I've heard that you can take a washcloth, clean one of course, and wrap it in plastic wrap and use that as well. Next we're going to take our nori sheet and we're going to put the shiny side facing down. Feel free to adapt this recipe completely to your taste like I've done here. I've chosen things that I know that I will like so please do the same for you. Next we're going to take our seasoned rice. This is really simple to make if you have this stuff and this is sushi seasoning and it's in the powder form. So to four cups of hot rice, we're gonna sprinkle the entire package of sushi seasoning and just mix to incorporate. And then cover with a damp towel to keep the rice nice and warm. I like using this because I'm lazy and I like to get the proportions right and this works for me every time, which reminds me of my first sushi attempt ever, which was a complete dramatic epic fail because I tried to do it the traditional way, which is fine, but as a novice cook, it was a complete debacle. It ended up being mushy and wet. I couldn't make the sushi, it wouldn't hold together. It was just a disaster. You can find my group Emmy Made in Japan on Canada and share with me your most epic fail. I won't know who you are because it's completely anonymous. For me, learning's all about laughing and learning from our mistakes. So yeah, let me know in the groups. I wanna read some fun stories. So one thing that kind of helps when you're dealing with sticky rice is using a bit of water to kind of spread this out because it'll keep it from sticking to your fingers. You want this to be nice and even and not too thick. I'm gonna add a layer of guacamole. Next, I'm gonna take some spinach and place a good pile of that here. So the trick of this is we wanna do it evenly, but we also wanna put it centrally located because once we roll it, it's gonna squish out the sides. I'm gonna add some beautiful purple cabbage, which I shredded on my mandolin. I recently bought one of these and it's a mandolin and it's really been game changing. And then I'm gonna add some carrots. Actually, I'm gonna put the carrots down here. So I'm using smoked locks in my recipe. It's not traditional by any means, but I like it and it's pretty easy to find. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Next, I'm gonna add some scallions, which I have julienned finely and soaked in cold water to get them to do that curly thing. Next, we're gonna add some chipotle mayo. It's a combination of one chipotle pepper that I have chopped up, added some mayo, and of course, thinned it down with a little bit of water. Be assertive with this. Show it who's boss. Lift this up, press. Pull back, press some more, and continue rolling. Roll. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you got it. The trick is you just gotta do it quickly and do it with a lot of conviction. Pull this up. And there you have it. So now that we've completed our sushi burrito, let's give it a taste. Itadakimasu. That's really good. It's kind of like a makizushi in terms of how it looks, but it actually tastes completely different. You taste the chipotle peppers, which are smoky and hot and creamy, and then you have the guacamole, which adds a little bit of that richness and some of that garlic and onion. And then you've got the fresh onion, you've got all the fresh vegetables in there that give that, that big, lively crunch. And then you've got the smoked salmon in there for a little bit of protein, of course, smoky flavor. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. 
So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do a little giveaway. I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card so you can get all the ingredients and tools and things you need to make this recipe for yourself. All you have to do is download Candid, find my group, Emmy Made in Japan. Three, post something, picture, story, question. Number four, take a screenshot of your me page. Number five, tweet it to me at Emmy Made in Japan and hashtag it, got candid with Emmy. One of you lucky people shall win a gift card to make this or anything you want, actually. You can buy anything on Amazon. I'm not telling you what to buy. <laughs> Thanks again, Candid, for supporting my channel and allowing me to make better videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe, comment, and like, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-